no. I pee my pants. Hell no. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on with the Halloween themed movies for this month and today I am watching Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. I may have watched this years ago back when it first came out but seeing that it came out in 2005 I really don't remember much of this film at all. I really don't remember any of the plot whatsoever. My only recollection of this film is that the main female character in this I believe is voiced by Helena Bottom Carter and the main male character might be voiced by Tim Burton. I think that's a thing, but I'm not positive. This could end up being really creepy. It could end up being really nice and romantic, or possibly what I'm expecting is that it's going to be a nice mix of the two together. Creepy, romantic, all in one. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe for more movie and TV reactions because I post new videos every week. Also, don't forget to hit that post notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, let's go! Oh, it's Johnny Depp. I should have guessed that the voice act in this was Johnny Depp. I knew it was Helena Bottom Carter, but for some reason I was thinking that maybe Tim Burton voiced the main male character. Now I remember. Score and songs by Danny Elfman. My dude. I should be paying attention to this intro because it's clearly setting the stage really well for like a gloomy, assuming it's like London-esque town. It might just be London. In like the late 1800s maybe early 1900s i feel like it's probably 1800s i need to see a female character's outfit to determine the time period it's a beautiful day it's a rather nice day a day for a glorious wedding i don't think i realized that this was going to be a musical we'll be there we'll be seen having tea with the queen we'll forget everything who is your son marrying without a penny to their name just like you Oh, so it's one of those weddings where the new money is coming in and they want to marry the people that have no more money, but they have the titles. And that's why they're excited to like get to go have tea with the queen because they're marrying into a prominent family. Classic. Do you suppose your father and I like each other? Ah! A little. Of, of course, course not. not. Get those corsets laced properly. I want to... Actually, I don't want to imagine what those two were like on their wedding night. Just like, Certainly. straight misery? It's not as big as our place, dear. It's not as big as your place? Smile, darling, smile. Mm -hmm. Wow, he really put an effort for that. It's kinda cute. I like that they get to meet for the first time in private. Mother won't let me near the piano. Music is improper for young ladies. What? H how? It's the whole point of like their era of being accomplished and learning how to do these prim and proper things that ladies should learn so that way they could be attractive to potential suitors. What impropriety is this? You shouldn't be alone together. Here it is one minute before five and you're not at the rehearsal. Chill. Your sorrows. Your cup. I have to say, the people in this movie wear some impressive hats. Get the door, Emil. Let's just pick it up at the candle bit. That's where you were. Yes. Yes, sir. Certainly. That's cute. Boy doesn't want to get married. Oh, disgrace. <laughs> Excuse me. Stop running, it, you fool! I'm done. This wedding cannot take place until he is properly prepared. Seriously? Seriously? This is so dramatic. For what? That is why we do things in steps in modern weddings. You say them in chunks. You don't expect them to say them all at once. Fishy fiance could be canned. That's so wild. With this hand. He's gonna drop the ring again. With this ring. I ask you. That's a hand! To be my oh no. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, that's creepy as hell. 
Mm -mm. No, no. I pee my pants. Hell no. Someone's gonna jump, and I don't like it. Oh, she's gonna be right there. Yep. Wedding feast. I'm salivating. <gasps> maggots. <laughs> oh. Just maggots. What a story it is. A tragic tale of room. Are we getting another song? Passion. A stranger came into town. He was plenty good looking, but down on his cash. I'm already guessing, based on the shadow, that the guy was the guy who crashed the wedding. Oh, that's it. There's so much happening here. I'm not mad about it. Oh, yeah. This was the man. And then the little heart beat so loud. And then she was murdered. Dead as dust. Jewels were missing and her heart was bust. So she made a vow. Always waiting for someone to ask for her hand. But out of the blue comes this groovy young man. That's so sad for her. End up. This ass hat. In the arms of a mystery woman, the dark haired temptress and master then don't slip away into the night. Another willow. Enough. He doesn't even know any women. Damn. If you need my assistance in any way. He's gonna try and slide in to Victoria's DMs to get her title. Ah. Victor! The second hand shop. I'm not dead. You. But you are. How are you gripping that? Okay. A little skeleton dog. Scraps. What? My dog's. Wait, this was your childhood dog? And my father, too. We should go and see them right now. Oh, what a fantastic idea! Where are they buried? They're not. I go up there when people are dying to get down here. Sorry, I beg you to. Ah. It means so much to <laughs> what a terrible joke. Now then. <laughs> that wasn't for them? Ah, here we have it. That is one active, really skinny beard. <gasps> Good job. Stay right here. Be right back. Okay. No peeking. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. <gasps> That's not gonna creep her out at all. But then, on meeting you, I felt I should be with you all this. Oh. And Who's this? Who is she? I'm his wife. This is all kinds of awkward. What a mood. I thought this was all going so well. It's been like two hours. Before you asked me to marry you. Why can't you understand? It was a mistake. I would never marry you. Uh, wrong choice of words, sir. You've got so much more. You've got a wonderful personality. Damn. Get the pain here that I feel. Try and tell me it's not real. Oh, shoot. I know that I am. It seems that I still have some tears to shed. Damn! Standing right here with Victor. Victor was in your room. Uh, priorities, oh, woman. Oh. How was that fabric holding her? It should have well have ripped already. Can the living marry the dead? What on earth are you speaking about? What a question. Come with me. Is he gonna put her in an insane asylum? Victoria? Where oh, no, just back to her parents. Victor. Whatever. For that boy to toss aside a young woman. Oh, shut up. You found him? Make haste, my dear. I've they really barred those windows. Marry Lord Bacchus tomorrow. According to plan. Ew. I can't stand her hair. It looks like an upside down chin. Oh, don't look at me that way. 
You have only to suffer this union and- I hate the way he's touching her painting. <laughs> Or at least had a coughing fit. What the hell? She is not in the mood for your duet. Okay. Let's go. What? Mayhew, how nice to see you. Oh. So he did just die. He did just cough himself to death. I feel like I'm caught in the tide out to sea. The sea leads to many places, dear. That's kind of nice. It's kind of comforting, at least. And what? <laughs> they actually got married? I thought it would get stopped in time. It requires the greatest sacrifice. You have to kill him? What is it? <laughs> we have to kill him! Yup! Would stop his heart forever. Only then would he be free to give it to you. That's a lot. Do you understand? I don't know how I feel about this. You can't get married looking like that. What are they gonna do? Oh, they're just fixing it. This is a mood. Oh, she looks good. Even though, is it the same dress? Maybe it's just like a new front style that they did to it. Maybe it always looked like that. And maybe she just particularly looked good walking down those stairs. What a tiny cake. I guess when the wedding party is so few people. What a gloomy ass wedding. Doesn't she have friends? Like, where are the other young people? No force on earth could tear us apart. Soik! Sorry. My next guess is since they did get married, the way to end all of this is that he's gonna end up dying and going down below, so therefore she's free to marry again. In other news. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's wild. Don't smell each other's butts. We're going to take whatever money we can and get out of here. Money? What? Money? Oh, he thought they had money. Them from the poor house. The, the poor house? Ooh. You're broke, bitch. Back. Keep it down. We're in a church. Evening. <laughs> For I will be. She can't do it. No, I've stolen them from someone else. I love you, Victor. You're not mine. Damn. Oh, how touching. Okay, this dude can F right off. I'll not leave here empty-handed! You, Emily. Called you. it! But do I have to kill you, too? Good for you. Good job, dog. A fork? He's gonna accidentally drink the poison. Did she just kill him? Oh no. She stood in the way. <laughs> drink the wine, drink the wine, drink the wine, drink the wine. Well said. Have fun. Oh, that was quick. Love that. Good for her! 
I wish she could have found that love, but this is still a nice ending for her. Because obviously, unless there was another decent, like, nice young male character in this, it was impossible for both of the women to, like, end up happy. Wait, it just ended with her flying off? Oh. Thought there would be more to that. Not that I'm mad about it, I just thought there was gonna be, like, a short little epilogue to show them together in their loving home or something. I like a good wrap-up, what can I say? Not only was this film short and sweet, but it was short, sweet, and sufficiently creepy. In the perfect blend possible. Honestly, this is a Halloween film that I would probably go back and watch next year. I thought it was funny and clever and cute and sweet and creepy and mystical all at the same time. It creeped me out, but it also made me smile. And I liked that about this. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below what you all thought of Tim Burton's Corpse Ride. If you want to watch any of my previous October slash Halloween reaction videos, you can watch them all in the playlist up above. As always, a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, you can visit the link in the description below and I will see you all next time. Thank you.